Mousse versus foam, what's the difference? Is there a difference? That's what we're gonna find out today on my hair. If you're interested, then keep watching. Let's get started because my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower. As you know, with styling wavy curly hair, time is of the essence. I'm gonna start off with Curls Blueberry Bliss. This is a leave-in conditioner and it has protein in it. I just, oh, that's a lot of conditioner. Hold on, I'm gonna use about this much for my hair, which is a little bit more than normal for me, but I didn't use a conditioner today in the shower. And I'm just gonna work that in just so I can brush it through with a Denman later. The second product I will be using before I separate my hair is Trey Lux's Reflex Serum. This is a very lightweight styling serum with protein. And I'm just gonna take about a quarter size amount in my palm and I'll rake it through my hair. I'm going to style upright on wet hair today. Sometimes I style on damp hair, sometimes I style upside down. I like to do a lot of different things, but for this purpose, it is easiest to see the results. So on my right side for the foam, we're going to use Curl Smith's Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. On my left side, we're going to use the very famous Cake Mousse. Now that I've brushed through my hair with my Denman brush, it helped to distribute the product. It's going to help with giving my hair tension so my hair can wave or curl better. I'm going to go in with a little bit more foam in my hands just so I can have some product there when scrunching my hair. This is normally whenever I would go in with gel. I'm worried about the hold. I really don't know what the outcome will look like, but the good thing about using a product such as foam is that it is very lightweight. It's not going to have that same weight as using gel will. So now I'm just going to do the same on this side with the mousse as I am with the foam just so we can keep it's standard. I thought about just styling my hair today with just mousse and foam but I know that mousse and foam in general will not give me the hold or the definition that I want, hence why I used a leave-in conditioner and the Trey Lux Styling Serum. So that's why I used other products in conjunction with these two products. But the one product I wanted to for sure leave out is gel because gel makes a huge difference when it comes to the outcome of your wash day. I could um, just style my hair with gel and I would have a pretty good outcome if I were to just style my hair with mousse and foam, I know that wouldn't be the case. And I'm going to make sure that my hair is really wet after applying that mousse because it will give my hair some grit to it. And I want um, there to be a sufficient slip factor whenever I'm brushing with a denim. Okay, so just like in accordance with my foam side, we're going to apply a little bit more mousse in my hand just so I can have something to scrunch with. And this is one characteristic about the cake mousse that everyone knows, it foams up so much in your hand. See, like, I do this every time. I barely touch the nozzle. Like, this is way too much product. But I'm not using a gel. So what's the difference between mousse and foam? They both have very similar purposes. I think it's just dependent on your hair type what you're going for during, for your styling process. Mousse in general is just going to give you a stronger hold than foam. I read somewhere that mousse is best on styling the entire length of your hair, whereas foam is, and root and like volumizing sprays, they're best to be styled or kept around your root area. I'm not too sure how valid that is when it comes to styling wavy curly hair because we use mousse and foam interchangeably. I think when it comes to mousse, what you want to watch out for are certain ingredients that can dry out your hair. So if you are someone who has who's prone to breakage or you really care about um, the moisture content in your hair, mousse might not be the best bet for you because it could potentially dry out your hair or make your hair feel dry a little bit more than perhaps a foam. But overall, I think mousses have come a long way in terms of ingredients and what you can do with them. Another thing about mousse is that it's going to have more hold than a foam. So if you are someone that wants to uh, not use a gel, but you still want hold in your hair. Like me, I like to have a strong hold in my hair, but I want a product that's lightweight. So yeah, I'm always on the hunt. Um, but if you are someone that still wants hold in your hair without using a gel, then your best bet might be to buy a mousse versus a foam. Normally, whenever I use 
mousse or foam, I usually just use it around my roots and then I use a gel as my sealant in a way. I'm going to wet plop for about 10 minutes and then afterwards I will be back to dry plop with a t-shirt. So stick around. All right, it has now been about 10 minutes or so since my hair's been in a wet plop. I don't like it to be in a wet plop for too long. Oh yeah, but wet plopping is great at reducing frizz, at letting your hair kind of meld with the product a little bit. But now we are going to transition into a dry plopping. Or I think this is called dry plopping. I don't know, it's one of the plops. So I'm just going to essentially scrunch my hair with a t-shirt. You can also use a microfiber towel or a bamboo towel if you want. This is just going to get rid of the excess moisture and to help with the drying process because I do diffuse my hair. This is going to help your hair if you air dry as well, just because it just gets out of the water, you know? You don't need all that water now. We're about to we're about to dry this baby. Dry plopping is also great if you have very fine hair like myself, because fine hair is weighed down by everything. Of course, if you have more coarse hair or super curly hair that's just going to curl regardless of what you do with it, then I don't really know if dry plopping is too necessary for you. Okay, I feel like it's okay. I wanna dry plop, but I don't wanna dry plop too much because if you dry plop too much, you might get frizz. <sighs> it's just so much. Now that I'm done with plopping, I'm going to go in with my foam and my oh, mousse for a final round of product on damp hair just so I can give myself a little bit extra hold. This might seem like overkill, but it's really beneficial um, if you want to give yourself a little bit more hold. I always do this whenever I'm finishing off with a gel. So with my foam, I applied four pumps to my hand. This seems like a lot of product, but you have to realize that this foam is so lightweight. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I feel like, <laughs> so I feel like I have to go in with more product to get up the hold that I want with this. This is where we have to be super careful. Uh, hmm, do I want more? Ah, I'm just gonna get the, we're in this together. How much mousse is too much mousse for wavy hair? We can go in with just a little bit more. There we go. Oh. I think my product's out. Okay, so now because I'm diffusing, I'm going to go in with a heat protectant spray. This is the one from Pantene, it's their heat primer. And then I'm going to go in with the Pantene Never Stray No Crunch Hairspray. I'm going to spray it on damp hair. I do this even whenever I'm using a gel and it's what gives me a very uh, nice cast. So if you are someone who's struggling to get a cast with your products, even if you're using gel, try spraying a hairspray over your damp hair and then diffusing it. It's going to give you a solid cast. Okay guys, so now I am just going to diffuse my hair on low heat, low speed. I do diffuse up upside down in like a kind of a hammock diffuse situation. And then I slowly move into pixie diffusing my hair once I feel like my roots are dry and I'm starting to get a pretty solid cast. So I'll just be right back. I think I'm dry. This is why I don't want big clumps. <laughs> it's pretty, very pretty, but she's heavy. Okay, so it's very obvious looking at the differences on the mousse side versus the foam side. I have a slight crunchiness on my ends, but for the most part, my hair feels very soft, whereas my mousse side has a pretty hard cast. But we will not know what it actually looks like until we scrunch out the crunch, so let's do that. I have clean hands. I don't have anything on my hands. Um, you can use an oil if you want, but I choose to just go in with clean hands. get this guy separated. A for effort, I appreciate your hard work clump, but we gotta separate you. <laughs> Clumped right back together. <laughs> this is why you should separate your big clumps if you don't want them to stay together before you dry. <laughs> Stop it, separate you two. So I don't really know what to think 
I think my hair looks okay. I think it looks fine. I do know that I like a very hard hold gel for my hair, but for right now, just judging based on foam and mousse, I think the difference is negligible. My mousse side does have a little bit of a drier feeling, whereas the foam side, it feels so fluffy, like a cloud, with the exception of this guy that just wanted to go above and beyond. I think the mousse side has a little bit more curl, a little bit more structure to it. The both sides are going to go, fall flat at the end of the day. I just know it. But right now, right now, like looking at the camera, it looks great. <laughs> it's not gonna stay like that, but it looks great. I think maybe if this was just like a one-time thing, a one-day thing that you're styling with, and you wanted very light, bouncy hair, then definitely give a mousse or a foam a try. Okay, so just based off of the experiment today on my hair, mousse versus foam, which one would I choose? To be quite honest, doesn't make too much of a difference. <laughs> I think the foam is great for someone that wants a very lightweight hold. Maybe if you just want to work it in the roots or something like that to give yourself a little bit more volume, that would be great because a mousse will give you that a crunchiness a little bit, whereas the foam feels very weightless. I don't think it's in my hair at all. I mean, I'm definitely not mad at it. It looks great. I'm so eager to try the mousse gel mousse combo now that everyone talks about, and hopefully I'll get great results from that. And maybe it's just me, but I would definitely gravitate towards using mousse more in general, just because it does offer more hold. But if you are someone that's a foam lover, then definitely let me know your magic ways on using foam and how to get a great wash day from it. But yeah, guys, that's my mousse versus foam. What's the difference? Is there a difference video? Testing it on my own hair. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe and join my weird little random world here on YouTube, <laughs> then please subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day wherever you are in this world and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.